welcome to New Body. I am Latriviette and I will be doing a general read for the collective audience today. Okay, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you are a regular follower or subscriber from my uh, other platforms, welcome back. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for rocking with us, sister. So let's get some good juju up in here. I'm going to light up this uh, Palo Santo to clear the energy. And while this is firing up, I just want to say that... Um, while I am a holistic health practitioner, I'm not a licensed medical professional. So any of the reading readings that I do that pull up uh, medical messages or health and wellness messages or have to do with uh, the mental, just know that it's the energy that surrounds that issue, okay? If you're having uh, mental health or medical issues, please see your licensed medical professionals. Um, yeah, take responsibility for your own action, your own mind, body, and spirit. All right, let's get started. Um, the same goes for um, any crime-related messages that come through. It's the energy that surrounds that issue. Be sure to check with your legal people, law enforcement. All right, so let's get started. So let's see what the energies are today. We're not going to see anything without glasses. All right, so we will get started. Hope everyone's having a great afternoon so far. Don't forget to check out my community tab. Um, I post a lot of good stuff from my... Uh, website from Instagram um, might see some coupons some sales things like that there so that's where that is posted and any messages to the community will be posted there as well so first card out door to personal Healing and happiness. So someone's on their way to healing and happiness. That is wonderful. Card number 34. Someone could be 34. Someone could be 43. Someone could be born in 1943. Four and three is seven. Seven is about reflection. It's about knowledge, spirituality. All right. So you have a man holding a coin. And you have the sun. So you got some good cards out here so far. Um, again, this is card number 43. Someone could be 43. Someone could be 34. Someone could be born 1943. Four and three is seven. Spirituality. Um, reflection. Introspection. It's a sun card. Sun card is a very happy card. It's the ha one of the happy cards are out of most decks. Card number one. New beginnings. So he has a new beginnings to healing and happiness and a man holding a coin. So either a man has come into a money or this come into a money. <laughs> either man has come into money or this is a wealthy man or this is a man with money who's offering you money. Also, uh, this is like the Ace of Pentacles, kind of, so to speak. So Ace of Pentacles is also uh, new beginnings in... Uh, wealth and prosperity. So, um, Pentacles is also about resources. It's just, it's not just about, um, the coin cash and money. So it could be a man, uh, holding a coin that could lead to money abundance. And the sun is illuminating that. I love it. What else do we have? I love it. So you have do it to romance. Wow. And you have patience in reverse. So do it to romance talks about love is open. The door to love is open. It's card number 33. 33 is a master number. 33 reduces down to six. Six is about harmony. It's about family. So you have a man with money. 
You have personal healing and happiness. You have the sun illuminating all of this. And you have door to romance is open. I love it. You have patience. Patience is in reverse. So it's telling me either someone doesn't have patience or patience is not needed in this situation, which patience is always needed. It's card number 16. 16 reduces to 7. 7 is about what? Reflection. Introspection. Spirituality. Knowledge. Says peaceful redirection is the message when this card is reserved. Reverse, sorry. Open up to the options available to you, even if they aren't yet totally clear. The universe supports you when you allow its influence to help direct your outcomes. And when you open your imagination to all the potential situ solutions around you. The key is to keep moving forward without frantic need or urgency. Don't give up on your goal. Initiation and renewed action are needed now. So keep an open eye to new and unexpected opportunities. What did I just say? I said this could be also resources and opportunities, not just money. So someone could be offering you something. Whoop, whoop. I love it. I love it. So what else do we have? I already had... I didn't do money today, so let's see what money is talking about. Should we do people first? Yeah, let's do people first. So this deck is the uh, Melanated Kipper. Melanin Kipper. Let's see what people were talking about here. So you have thoughts and you have illness in reverse. So maybe uh, this thoughts like preoccupied obsession. So maybe someone was preoccupied with the illness that they no longer have or maybe thought that they had or um, illness can just, it doesn't necessarily have to be like a, a fatal disease or uh, a really, you know, stressful disease. It could also be just someone exhausted. It could be someone in poor health, okay? You did have uh, the door to healing and happiness, so which says that uh, someone's on their way to healing or they're healing now, okay? And with this being in reverse, it's, it's letting me know that either so, if someone had an illness, they don't have it anymore, and they're about, they're healing. They're on the, on the men's. Maybe their thoughts were overthinking about it. What else do we have? Oh, snap. This is too many cards. I'm going to reshuffle. Work what you have. So we have sad news. And we have house in reverse. Maybe someone lost a house, home property. Twenty is on deck. Twenty reduces to two. Two is about partnerships. Unions. 14 on deck. Someone could be 41. 14 reduces to 5. 5 is about change, but it's also about conflict and chaos. So if someone lost a home, there's definitely going to be change there. So we have gloomy thoughts. These gloomy thoughts could be about the loss of the home. 
excuse me. And then now we have fatality in reverse. So fatality says ending, dark cloud, misfortune, bad outcome. It's in the reverse. Gloomy thoughts or depression, overthinking. So it could be some uh, gloomy thoughts. Someone's having gloomy thoughts about the sad news that they received. About the loss of a house. What else do we have for this? We're going to take a few more from this deck and then move on to another deck. Get some more messages. So we have false person. And we have a gift. So false person is uh, someone who's dishonest, deceptive, the liar. Card number eight. Eight is about uh, manifestations. Okay. So what about this false person? There's a gift. It says charity, recognition, support, resources, opportunity. I did say at the top line that someone was receiving opportunities. Windfall. I said if this man uh, could be giving money. What about this false person? So unemployed. Unexpected money, I'm sorry. <laughs> unexpected money in reverse. So unexpected money talks about wealth, abundance, generational wealth, return on investment. It's in return. It's in the reverse. You have a main male in reverse. So perhaps this main male thought that he was going to receive some unexpected money. And he is not. Maybe he thought that he was going to receive a gift of unexpected money. And he is not receiving that. We don't have theft out here, but we do have false person. Maybe this main male was a false person who thought he was going to receive unexpected money or a gift. And he's not receiving it. Sit. What else do we have? So we have child in reverse. Child could be, uh, you know, literal as a child. Um, but it could also be the innocence of someone. Saying someone could be not innocent. Perhaps this main male is not innocent, which is why he's not receiving a gift. of unexpected money or windfall. Sometimes the child card can also refer to a child. Well, let's see what else we have. Hey. So we have a long road and we have rich man in reverse. Okay. So maybe this was a long road, a long time coming. But it's not so innocent man who might have been rich at one time, but is not rich anymore. Might have had some money before. Might have been a businessman, investor, or entrepreneur, but he's not now. All right, let's get another deck out here. Oh, my money deck. So let's see what the money is. Where the money resides, where the money resides. 
So we have leadership. First card out is leadership. Leadership talks about it's time to step up into the leadership role in your own life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership position. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. So once, so someone needs to step into their power if they want to be seen as a leader. Could be a long road to do that. What else do we have for finances? This is um, Korean finance debt. We have destiny. We have embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Destiny says, believe in your dreams and passions. It is your calling to follow them. Whatever led you to this point in your life, it will direct you to your higher purpose. New exciting adventures await you. Don't look back, only look forward. That's it. That's it. Excuse me, people. That's it. Come on. Don't make me come over there. Sorry about that. All right, what else do we have? We have recognition. And we have unethical. So recognition says your money is looking good and solid. Whatever you are working on now will win you the respect of others. You could earn a leadership position or get recognition for what you deserve. Leadership. So someone's coming into a leadership position. Or someone could be walking into a leadership position. Step into your power, people. Unethical. It says, unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. Someone is stealing or lying to you about money. So someone is stealing money. Or lying to you about money. And we have that with... Uh, This was unexpected money in reverse. So that could have been stolen. We didn't get the, the theft card, but that is a theft card. It's letting you know that someone is lying about money. So lying about money, they could um, either be withholding money or stole money. Stole money from you. Check your finances. It says don't sacrifice your morals for money. With all that's going on in the news and things about um, how people sign contracts in their life away for fame and fortune, that's what this is talking about. Don't sacrifice your morals for money. That could lead you down a road you can't come back from. What else? So we have laborer. We have patience. This is the second time patience came out. Patience says divine timing is at hand. It will require having faith while you are shown the way. You may feel tired and out of balance. The universe is forcing you to rest and recover. Money may be slow coming in. Or, or you may be unsatisfied with your finances. But have patience. Because that will change. Especially if you have someone who's looking to give you money, like maybe grants and loans, or uh, sponsor you, or be, you know, they're philanthropists. And then they, they just give out money uh, to people to help them grow. Laborer says, a new job of some kind is coming your way. Or you may be going back to work. A career, construction, maintenance, or any kind of labor work could be for you. Your dependable and loyal nature will be rewarded soon. Keep it up. All right. So I did say that um, this card could be about resources and opportunity. Maybe this person who has money knows people who are hiring. Or he could be hiring. And that could be your new abundance. Your, your new job 
could could uh what's the word uh grant you a higher pay raise promotion that sort of thing all right what else do we have let's see what we have on time we're doing pretty good doing pretty good So last card's out, unfulfilled and prudence. So unfulfilled says, you could have an emotional attachment to a job that is no longer serving you. This one just said new job coming, so be patient. Look at that, look at that, be patient. Patience is needed. It says, explore your wants and needs and consider a change. You're unhappy with your income but too scared to make any changes. How are you going to get more? How are you going to get different if you're still in your comfort zone? You want to leave, but you you want better, but you don't want to do what it needs to be done to get better. So Prudence talks about don't let the balance of your credit cards get too high. Put some something aside for a rainy day. Stay within your budget and start learning. Start living within your means. So just talk about don't... Don't be, uh, what's the word, uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses. So, yeah, I see, um, I do see love and romance coming. But I also see, um, if you're having some financial issues, you need to, uh, you know, work on that. You need a financial advisor or financial counselor to uh, help you with your debt or um, you may not be in debt. You may just need to learn how to manage your finances. Okay? So what else do we have here? What's our time like? 22.15 on the clock. So let's get some... Uh, tarot on it see what the tarot says we'll just get a few cards with the tarot I'm not gonna make this a long video all right so we have the four of cups in reverse so the four of cups is about Four of Cups is water energy. Who is this? Cancer, moon and cancer. It's talking about sudden awareness, choosing happiness, okay? You want to be happy, choose to be happy. And that's in the reverse, by the way. It's like uh, in the upright, it's, you know, not being satisfied with what you have and being offered more. In the reverse, it's talking about choosing to be happy, okay? So... Choose happiness, people. Yeah, the Six of Swords in the reverse. Six of Swords talks about resisting to change. Okay, you can't choose to be happy if you're resisting change. We got air energy. Aquarius energy. Might be some delays in... in uh, some plans, but be patient. All right, let's get a few more cards and we will call it. So you have more cups, more water energy. This is the two in reverse. So someone is in a breakup, All right? Someone's experiencing a breakup. You know, that could be, uh, Six is also about emotional baggage. So that could be the emotional baggage. Unfinished business. There's an imbalance in a relationship. You also have the sun. Sun in the upright. Sun in the up, upright talks about um, positive energy. It's fire energy. 
could talk about success. So maybe someone who's going through a breakup is feeling a little, little gloomy, a little blue. But there's sun at the end of that tunnel. There's light at the end. Okay, last message for real. Judgment. Judgment. The hermit in reverse. So judgment talks about something being fair. It's number two on deck. It could be about partnerships. It could be about unions. And we just saw the two in reverse, which is about unions. Okay? Uh, union ending or a partnership ending. Something's being judged. Hermit in reverse talks about isolation, withdrawal, distance. Could be about this relationship that ended. Four of uh, cups in reverse is also about withdrawing. Someone feeling like they lost their way. Could be because the relationship ended. They have no direction. Gloomy thoughts. All right, let's uh, let's close this out with a. Why do I keep putting these away? Let's close this out with the angel message. So you have 441. Angel number 441 says, Absorb it. Breathe in spirit. There is so much activity going on around you lately, it can be difficult to focus on the presence of your angels. Take short spirit breaks today. Practice deep breathing, take a reflective nature walk, or engage in mindful yoga every now and again. Break up your day. If you're feeling, you know, uh, these gloomy thoughts, go out to nature. Take a walk. Get some air. When you come back, maybe you'll have a different perspective. Talk to spirit or source or the divine or whoever you connect to okay so i hope you enjoyed the reading today thank you for joining me and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one